welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival of This, and we return to Kaidemon Hyper Auto Battlers for another week of the series. Last week, we just went through the tutorial, got through the first two regions, mostly well up towards the later ends of the second region, where we got trounced by the boss. But we're going to try again, try a different team composition, see what new uh, Kaidemon we can counter, build up, etc. And hopefully, it's tried to make a little bit more progress. Whether it's forwards or sideways and showing off different Kaidemon that the game has for you to collect and train up. So we just gotta wait for it to load up into a new thing. We're probably going to take a different starter. Last week we took, I think it's... Belief? Something like that. The only issue with Belief is... Depending on where the positioning of it is, it can have diminishing returns. Because if it actually takes up your very first slot, its super ability never actually will work. It has to buff an ally in front of it. So, the reason why I think I didn't have as good as I could have done with that go was once the first ally goes down, all the super that the uh, belief can do doesn't really help as much anymore. But I do have an idea for who we're going to take out for the next go on this start, and it's one that no matter where it's positioned, it does provide a decent effect to help with the team. So, yeah, we just gotta give another moment. We'll go through here. I am thinking maybe we'll do. We'll have to see how this week goes, but I'm thinking at least this week and another week of Kaidomon. I just like having this as a small little toss in series to help shift up the channel a little bit, shake up the genre, a few things like that to keep things fresh and going along. Yeah, I should hopefully see it loaded up in a moment here. I think the reason why it can take a little while to load is because it does procedurally generate all three regions at once when you start a new game. I think it saves how their layout is, how they're configured for what things you might encounter. It's not just that every time you go to one of the big maps that you get to see, it generates each individual one. So I'm thinking that might be one of the reasons why it takes a while. But yeah, we start with Belief, and Grant Ally had the one and the two. Monku, I'll probably take last because it's my least favorite. It's, like, really squishy for one. It only has 18 health. On Hurt, it does gain one more attack. But it's not, it's not even all that fast either with only 10 speed, so it feels like a glass cannon of sorts. We're going to go for Kreeze though. Uh, little crab guy. Grant front ally for armor, so no matter what position it's in, the front ally is always going to get armor, so this could be at the very back. It does have the shield bash, which adds the armor to its damage to help quite a bit. And it grants two armor at the start. And let's see. Okay, so we've got a grass and water area we could try first. A physical bug, an earth physical, and a bug toxic. Now, I do have water already, and the splash is kind of nice, so maybe we'll try... What if I should try going for a water build? Yeah, you know what? We'll start with grass water, and we'll... No, we got a schnoz. Yeah, so this should be pretty quick and easy to deal with. And we'll go through, see how we can build things up with, and develop things further. But yeah, start off with, it's going to go pretty quick and easy for a lot of the fights. It's more once you've gotten your first four, then you start seeing the uh, changes coming along. But we only have snows to pick up, so we'll add them. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll get the louder. Battle start, grant al other allies three damage, so that'll be good. And... Uh, see, I don't know how much the typing really affects stuff, so I'm kind of thinking... What does fire do again? Battlestar grant out all allies damage. Turn all dust type into physical. Um, actually, is there... Yeah, there's dust type there, and then that turns physical. I think I might skip and take the experience from it. See, I'll swap those out. We'll put the loudener on. And looks like we have a few new faces in the shop. We've got Plurpal we saw last week. We've got Alchi, which looks to be a ghost owl. Uh, Peblo, I think we saw them as well. Paranute's a new one. Uh, Bulbish, Taney, and Dute. And what is that? Quick escape, hurt, move backwards. Okay, we'll hold on to what we've got for the small candy right now. And we will be going for another mini-boss fight, so we'll have to see how that goes. I think Snow is here. Yeah, turn one, allies in front. All the decay that might build up on him will actually turn into regeneration, so this could work out as a pretty potent combination with these two. Well, we'll just have to see how it all goes along. 
I don't know if we'll have anything that will, like, inflict us with uh, decay yet. So we'll have to see. But the mini-boss fight ahead is one I'm kind of anxious about. Because it seems like you can encounter mini-bosses that are way too strong for how early on you, like, fight them. Okay, so Bulbish, after battle spawn Ball Baby or grant 110 experience, or... Um, I might go for Bulbish here, just see... The super has to take 5 damage, gain 1 fortified, and 1 regeneration. We'll try it and see. And you know what, I'll release Knock because that's fragile, we'll put them in. And I don't know if I'll be able to, like, get Bull Baby... I'll have to see how this will go, because, like, this is... I can get more experience into this thing, but I don't know if I should. It does say gain one bomb, I think? Let's see what that is. Uh, explode! On faint, deal one damage per stack to enemy split evenly. Okay. So basically makes a little bomber for us. I don't know if I'll keep those two, but it's at least something to begin with. And we'll see how this goes. Yeah, see? Okay, so we got three slunges and a slimmer eye. I feel like it is a case of this is going to be a rough one for us. But we do have... Uh, get some regeneration to start with, as well as a few supers. Okay, actually having the ball baby might help, because, like... If its super does go off... And that does mean it'll build up a little bit of... Okay, never mind, it got taken out instantly. Okay, we are thinning them out a little bit, but I still... Yeah, it definitely feels like this is a fight that's not meant to be encountered this early in. I almost think maybe there should be a thing where you don't encounter uh, mini-bosses until, like, you have at least a full team in place. Because, yeah, didn't stand a chance there. Uh, we got some reward. We did get a ticket, even though we lost. And, ooh, okay. So, looks like maybe we'll be able to get a boost on all of them as we just keep going along. And we could pick up... I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll move you back and we'll take Paranoon. It's like, that's a little bit of an odd one. I'll hold on to the candies for now, and we'll see where we'll want to use the experience. Uh, to do. Maybe I'll try to get another water to try to go for, again, the thinking of getting some splash out. And, okay, Bulbo's a new one. We have a Kreeze. We see, we saw Belief. Oracle, Oracle was good for an experience one. I think they taper off once you have everybody kind of leveled up. So it'll be better instead to... I think try finding and building up a powerhouse, if possible. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage going out against us there. Okay, so it looks like on a faint... We do have an effect that Paranoot does, and that gives super fast to one of our teammates. Uh, yeah, we... Okay, this was a bad, bad composition. I think I'm going to probably look getting rid of Bulbish. I don't think they really bring anything that we kind of need right now. So this will be another loss, and we'll lose morale from it. Well, this is where it really feels like you have to know what you're doing and where you pick when. Because, like, Paranute, Bulbish, didn't really help in any regards. So I think we'll go for the bonus experience decrees, try to build them up. And, yeah, release you, I'll take that. I'm going to release you two to take that. And I'm going to get... Uh, yeah, we'll level Kreeze up, so that way we get them evolved. Yeah, so there's Blizzation. That's a pretty nice thing already. Battle start, allies gain four armor, and front ally gains eight armor. So that's helpful there. And we'll start leveling up snows, and we will 
restock to see what else we can get. Uh, it might be potent to try to get Belief in the second slot with the armoring we have on our first one. Physical Water or Water Air? Um, going by the typing, maybe we'll try Physical or Water Air because we could get a second of that. And we got a Peculate as a new comer into this. And Ice. When an ally faints, apply slow to all enemies. We'll have to see if that'll come in handy or not. But it does feel like a number of uh, utility that certain ones have. I definitely need to learn what they are good for and where. Like Snows, my big problem I'm having is that unless the enemy inflicts decay, it serves no purpose. You don't get any benefits from that. It doesn't inflict decay out so you can get, like, the benefits from it. Okay, we have taken... Okay, well, we took down once... Yeah, no, Snows is a bad choice. I don't know if we can get it to work uh, for us. Yeah, no, Snows is terrible. Do not pick Snows up. It doesn't work unless you have something else that actually gives it, uh... uh we'll take Sardine. Probably swap those out. It doesn't inflict the poison, so it doesn't have anything it super works with, or... Uh, like this other effect here. Having Decay reduces attack by two. I don't know... I'd imagine that's supposed to apply to the enemies, but because it doesn't apply it itself, it completely lacks utility. So that's something I've learned. And again, why we have to be careful in mind how we see things going on. We might be able to deal with this group a little easier than the last, though. Sardine back here is a pretty strong attack one. As the enemies, or well, as anything faints, it gets some nice uh, attack benefits. Yeah, so they do have one on their team, but I think we'll be better off, yeah, with our own. Because we at least have a little bit more of a tank out front to be able to handle stuff. There we go. Yeah, much better now. I still want to replace Snows. So I'm probably going to go for Peeling. It's not really a nice offense replacement. And you know what? We're going to release you to get these back. Put that on you. And probably work getting uh, Sardine in the back upgraded. As well, I think I'll take that and put it on Paranute so that way we can get more armor right on our main tank there. So we go for Lightning Physical or Ice Lightning. But with the mini boss ahead, I think I'm going to take the right route just to play it safe. As many boss fights so far have not gone as well as they could have. Yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of effects going on right now. God, we got a lot of speed stacks on uh, most of the, well, half the team right now. Peeling and Sardine. I think it's just the effects that are going out. It's not hard to know what all is playing out, but I think they're moving so quickly that we don't even see the bars building up at the bottom here for, uh, like, the attacks are just going off constantly. Yeah, like, we're getting, like, almost 30 stacks of speed on Sardine in the back there. Um... An ally hurt, gain one slow, and... Okay, converts all slow into power. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to go for getting Kree's... Actually... Before attack, grant ally ahead two energy, and grant adjacent allies one splash. I'm going to try Grubbity here. And we'll switch them out for where Peeling is. Now, I can't seem to take the bomb off of that, 
So hold on to peeling for now, and we'll continue forward and try this next fight. Because my thinking is, these two are both pretty strong uh, attack ones. So if they're getting a lot of speed, they might shred anything that's ahead of us. But we'll have to see if it plays out the same as it just did last fight. <laughs> Okay, so it didn't build up quite as much as the other one did, but we do see Paranute is giving speed out to help offset things a fair bit. And now Grubbity should get... Yeah, that's going to be 10 power added to its attacks. And that can keep building up too, so that might help a fair bit ahead. There we are. Okay, that's through. Uh, we can pick up a new item. We'll probably do Fire Slime. And I... I guess I could go for Grubber. I haven't seen Bad Boon before. Or do we want Alchi? Ally fainted, gained 25% to their positive stats effects. Gained 3 speed and then 5 damage to 1 random allies. Uh, we'll take Bad Boon just to see how that goes. And let's see the bomb. Yeah, see, I'm thinking I'm going to switch the bomb off because... Oh, maybe I'll keep it because that actually does work for that. And we'll put the loudener on to there to get the boost across everybody. And see how this will go after this little mystery event. While taking a shortcut through a dark forest, you hear things moving around you. The noise seems to be coming from all directions. In the cacophony, you can make out what appears to be Kaidaman crying in the distance. Follow or hide? Gain a random Kaidaman, and all allies gain... something. I'll try it just to see. You slowly follow the noise through the forest while trying to avoid making noise yourself. Find lone Kaidaman who's lost in the forest, they've decided to join you if you help them out of the forest. Oh! Okay, I guess we got some bonus XP for Sardine. And that'll level them up to Whalebone. So now, on any feints, gain 2 damage and 2 speed, and then it supers deal 6 to unit ahead. So, we can go for an Ice Bug, where we do have a little bit of ice built up. And uh, we don't really have anything else, though. Maybe we'll go for an Earth... Actually, maybe we'll try Ice Lightning, because we could get another Grubbity and get some bonus experience for that. Now, let's see how this'll go. Okay, we're getting a lot of speed back on Whalebone and Gravity. Paranute has taken a fair bit of damage, but that, I think, was more self-inflicted because of Whalebone's super. It, yeah, it just feels like it keeps ramping up the speed back there. I... Okay, so I guess Filament has gotten its super off a couple times, because the thing coming in is from Filament's uh, super move there, which is to summon a token. Yeah, how things are going, it's just getting a little ridiculous how much speed we're building up back here. Like, 39 on Whalebone. Basically means, like, it's constantly getting its attack out. So much so that Super doesn't even build up, so we have the negative of it. Okay, we'll go for the Gravity bonus experience. Nope. Uh, unfortunately, it did. Yeah, it seems like there's still a little bit of a programming bug. Where we don't get to actually see it happen. I think we've gotten Populsion before. So Ally Hurt gains one slow, converts all that into the energy... Or all that into power, is it? Strength. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Now uh, we don't need the type chart. Yeah, we're back in the store. I don't think there's anything I'm going to worry about picking up for right now. I'm... 
Just trying to think on... Oh, hang on. Gain fast, grant... I'm taking that, and I'm putting that on Sardine back here, because my thinking is... Because of how much it's building up fast, that could give a lot of experience out to our entire team. Or not experience, sorry. A lot of health out to the full team. But we've got a campsite here. Uh, we'll give experience to Paranute, try to get them leveled up. There we go. We'll have to see how we do with uh, what's ahead. Now we got Pair of Swoop. So, slow applied grants allies behind one fast. Apply too slow to the fastest enemy. And uh, this is the Loki region, so I don't know if it'll be a different boss. Or... Okay, no, it's Queen Struction again. We dealt with them pretty easy last week, so I'm guessing that might be another pretty easy week ahead here. And yeah, there's all the speeds going out. Even more, even more, even more. God, yeah, it is like... Okay, we're not getting a lot of damage in, so it's... Once the team gets hurt, that's when we see more of the, uh... Speeds going out. But we are thinning out uh, the boss's health very quickly. We've already gotten down like over a hundred. Yeah, whalebone's just going nuts with it. And then every feint is also going to help uh, boost Whalebone up a little more. Now, I don't know if we'll have it taken down before it summons another thing out or not. Oh, not quite, but... We'll probably have it taken out in just a moment here. Yeah, there we go. Didn't even lose a member of the team, so we might have an interesting combination in place here. We'll just pick a few rewards. Okay, rock solid. Front ally takes two less damage. Uh, rainfall. It, on a super, everybody will get hit, hurt, but that might actually help for propulsion back here. Or we could go and get gain two Kaidemon after battles with zero experience, but don't get to select them. I'll try rainfall. It feels like it could be like shooting ourselves in the foot, but because of how propulsion works... Uh, maybe I'll go for Fire Slime there. Take that, take that. And yeah, I'll probably leave the rest here. There's nothing I really want to pick up from the shop here. I'll probably just restock and see. Oh, Rimite. Padmon with Freeze, take 20% bonus damage. Oh no, it's slow, sorry. That could help. It could be helpful and hurtful. I think I'll keep an eye on that one. We may pick it up in time. But we made it to the Kofum region, which is the second one. And yeah, as you can see, it's already been pre-made out. Even the third area has been pre-made for how it's going to flow. So we'll tackle this next episode and see if we can beat the boss this time around. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Kaidemon Hyper Auto Battlers. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, shoot them in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video or episode of Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.